It's working. Right now, I'm next to Mark, and Mark is one of the most brilliant minds I know of. <laughs> and any subject, he knows like 100%. So I asked him like nine words, he says, give me another one. <laughs> and then I had another one. And finally, we came across relationships, how it affects your everyday life. Uh, Mark is, uh, again, Mark, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my name's Mark Vandergag. I'm a relationship coach. Are you a relationship coach? <laughs> I am. <laughs> you know, I don't have and one I, relationship. I've had a relationship in nine years. Oh. Nor do I want one. <laughs> well, actually, you have lots of relationships. That's true. You're having a relationship right now with That's me. That's true. Right? Okay. Not romantic, so, yeah, but you no, know why. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah. It's sort of romantic. He just won't admit it. Yeah, okay. no, no, I'm kidding. So anyway, yeah, well, well, your life is about relationships. That's all life is. Relationships are everything, and everything is relationships. So, okay. Um, and how you manage any relationship is how you manage all of your relationships. Whatever you do in any one place, you do every place. So, wow. Exactly. That means because right now, my goal is not to is keep my relationships aloof, and that's pretty much how I run my life. So you're aloof. I am aloof. That would explain a lot. I mean, uh, aloof, and I don't, make, I don't like to make uh, commitments because then I feel tied down. Right. Well, without commitment, there really is no relationship. So, wow. And <laughs> that's, are, why, that's, why, that's why I'm on target. But, you know, so I think you're making mistakes saying that. I think you actually yeah. are more committed than you realize you are. Okay. But maybe there's a certain level of commitment you're not willing to, you know, dive deeply into. That's true. Right. So that's true. Um, you're very committed to your work. That's very a committed relationship. To work. That's you're committed to your business. That's right? a relationship. You're committed to everybody that walks in this door. That's true. You're committed to everyone. their healing. Everyone. Right. So you have to recant your statement. You are a committed <laughs> yeah. person. But there's certain things you're not willing to commit to. There are many levels of commitment. Okay. Right? So, okay. okay. And at that level where you say no, there's probably some sort of fear there. There is a fear. Right? And also, at the same time, something you would like to have happen. That's true. That Very you're good. resisting. That's right? true. Right. So wherever there's something you say you want, but you're not having it, it's right. because some other part of you is committed to something else. So there's a conflict of interest. And say it again? Wherever the say, there's something you say you want and you're not having it. Some it's because some having. other part of you wants something else, and those two things seem or appear to conflict. They really don't, right. but they seem to. So you're afraid if you get the one thing you want, I'm lose something else. You'll either lose something or get something with it you don't want. That's true. Right? So <laughs> say you get the woman. That's true. Right? You get the woman of your dreams, then you may lose your freedom. Let's That's say right. some people have that fear, or right, right, and that may come from. And all other relationships that you've had in the past usually it comes out of childhood. Something it that could happened be. It usually, yeah. with your primary caretaker. Primary caretaker. I raised myself, by the way. Right. Well, I'm not a caretaker. Yeah. I raised myself. Right. So I literally raised myself. Right. Right. So some part of you is probably seeking some form of mothering or fathering you didn't get as a child. Could be. And if you've sought that out as an adult and gotten that, you probably got some other things with it you didn't like. That's true. Right. No, like, I'm a very happy person. In general, right in now, general, you yeah. seem happy. I am happy. Is there anything missing? <laughs> Not that I know. <laughs> okay, Not we, that I want to say on All right, there you go. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, if not for Arnold, for everybody else out there, if yeah. it's something you say you want and you're not having it, it's because yeah. you're more committed to something else. And that, that thing you're more committed to is usually based on some degree uh, on safety, on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? You're, it's based on your need for safety. And that will always supersede the thing you say you consciously want. And there are ways to get past that thing. Okay. Anyway, I just want to make a short film with Mark. I think Mark's brilliant, especially in relationships. Every time I, he talks, I'm kind of flabbergasted. I said to Mark, why let's be do YouTube. He said, all right, and this is our first one together. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. We're going to do a string Good. of them. We're going to do a string of them. Yeah. Okay. Right? Life Models oh. Way. Bye. Bye.